hello everyone and uh, let's welcome dhriti dhriti is here to tell us about gipe so firstly dhriti uh, thank you so much for taking out time today and sharing uh, things about gipe with us so dhriti let's start from the beginning gipe we all know has many courses so the first confusion that comes is about gip is with their ma economics program so it used to be in marathi uh, you know they had this criteria that uh, this is basically a bilingual course with english and marathi and i think that it became only english so what's the status right now do you would you be able to tell us that so ma'am uh, the ma economics course is um, is mostly theoretical course and it is mostly for people who are aspiring to be uh you know civil servants or who wish to go in the in the government sector right now it, we i think we do have a reservation for marathi students in the ma economics but it's uh, it's it, the medium is english only okay so the reservation is for marathi students but the medium of instruction is english because i i i personally remember reading somewhere that it's a bilingual program but that's not the case anymore no no i have friends in ma economics and they don't face any problem as such Okay, 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 great. But you are saying it's mostly theoretical and it's very catered towards people who want to enter into those fields where where you require a lot of theoretical knowledge and to clear certain yes. exams like IIS or IES or something like that. Right, right. So you uh, so you said you have friends who are studying those courses, so they were pretty certain that they wanted to do IIS or IES or uh, uh, things like that. Which that is why they opted for that course. Yes, a uh, half of my friends uh, belong to that category, but there are many other people I've seen who. Uh, didn't have prior knowledge about Gokley offering MSc economics as well because I think MA economics was the oldest one, so they just filled for MA economics course. And uh, the course structure, if I talk about, it's uh, mostly similar. Similar also because we have uh, many people who opt for placements from MA economics course also. So the Achha, so I mean, the the are similar across the courses. Yes, the companies which come do not differentiate between the specializations that we have. But the specializations are very varied in Gokhale, right? Yes, ma'am. We From have from economics to business to health. Yes, we have like four different specializations: uh, financial economics, then we have international business, agri business, and uh, population studies and health. And then we have a general MSc economics course and an MA economics course. And uh, last year, MA, MSc in public policy was also introduced. So uh, the course structure is mostly the same in all the specializations in the first year. And the specializations have, uh, you know, a few extra uh, papers which are uh, specific to their field. Like I'm a student of agribusiness, so I would have a few papers of Indian agriculture. Uh, in addition to what the MSc economics general batch is studying. Okay. So you so you're saying that only in your second year, based on your uh, particular course, do you have some additional specializations? But you also end up doing all the core courses that, let's say, MSc Economics is also doing. Yes. So basically, we have to complete twenty different papers in the span of two years, and I think five okay. to six papers are uh, specific to your specialization, and the rest are mostly general economics, general maths, oh, uh, so MSc. Five percent of the course is general. Yes, and also in my batch, uh, like. Uh, Before my batch, it was MSc Agribusiness, and uh, the year in which I joined, it became MSc Economics with a specialization in Agribusiness. So the degree that I'll get is MSc Economics with the specialization in Agribusiness. Yes. But you are saying that in terms of placements, also, if a company comes, that all of you are allowed to uh, sit for placements. Yes. Uh, mostly, uh, if the company has a preference that it wishes to uh, recruit from the financial batch only, because the role is finance oriented. Only then, uh, MSc Finance would be sitting for the placement. Otherwise, ninety nine percent of the time, it's all the courses, uh, have the option to sit for the placement. Financial batch just has certain finance specializations, but yes. let's say something like econometrics, all of you end up doing the same. So it that is yes. not really different. Yes, we okay. like macroeconomics, microeconomics, advanced econometrics, business analytics. All of like, all yeah. the specializations have these courses. Oh, did you know this before you joined the program that it's going to be uh, so similar? I did have an idea because uh, I uh, currently I'm studying agribusiness and uh, I I didn't have any preference for a course. I wanted to pursue general MSc economics only. 
So uh, I got him through MSc Economics Agribusiness. And when I came here, I did get an update for switching to MSc Economics General. But then uh, okay. what happened was that I had already attended classes for a week and I realized that the course structure is very similar. It's just that I will have an extra, uh, you know, specialization to show in my resume. And uh, so I thought, why not? Let's just pursue it because the teachers were also really good. I really liked the course. So I ended up not switching. Wow. So you didn't switch. You, you yeah. let the, you, you continue the agri business. All right. That's great. Because a lot of people keep asking me that, you know, is uh, what are the job opportunities after agri business? And sometimes I'm also tongue tied because particularly as, as you know, an agri business specialist, I don't really know how many jobs just few will come. But if all of you can sit for the same placements and everything, then it's then, then the scope is much wider. And what the name perhaps may suggest that, you know, it's an MSc with, uh, with agribusiness uh, specialization. There are lots of students in GIP. So across all your courses, how many students are there? I would say on an average, there are 50 to 55 people. Except the MSc public policy, which is uh, like entirely different. They have a uh, very less term, around 20, I guess, because it was introduced last year only. And their cost structure is also very oriented to the government sector. Other than that, uh, public, other than the public policy, all the, it was all the specialization, there are around 55 in each batch. Uh, uh, do all of them sit for placements, like uh, out of? Let's say this is a good batch size of 250 to 300 uh, students. 300, so, yeah, 300 students. So, um, how, what percentage of these students would perhaps be sitting for placements? Uh, I would say uh, mostly all the people sit for placements. Uh, other, the, uh, I guess someone has gotten an off campus offer. I haven't uh, come across more than two or three more people who would actually go and pursue. So, uh, so pretty much all of them would like to be placed. So how, how is the placement? I mean, I, uh, my particular understanding is that the placement varies. Like if it's a good year, then you get very good placements. If it's not a very good year, then, you know, you may not get very good placements. So what's your understanding of uh, how things are? So when I, uh, before joining Gokin, before coming to Pune, this was the major concern I had in my mind about the placement. And the placement record has been quite well in the past few years, even for the agribusiness course, because I was very um, skeptical about joining this course. But uh, I realized the year I, that I joined agribusiness was the highest, had the highest number of placements. So this is the first factor that I considered. And uh, secondly, it's quite well given given the um, the session period that is going on. I, or I would say there are there's quite uh, highly. Yeah, hiring fees also going on a few companies. Uh, it's 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 going well because okay. uh, it's so, last year and this this year too. I think the highest package went to about twenty one to twenty two lakhs, and average is around ten. Okay, so uh, and what percentage do I mean? I know that people get off campus placements also, but on campus, on average, how many? What percentage would you say that? you know, can uh, do bag campus placement jobs? Uh, well, I'm not really sure about the percentage, but I would say if you prepare well, you'll definitely get placed. Because okay. the uh, competition is quite high and also the hype of placements is very high. I would, you know, attend classes and then would come back and start studying for placements because of the course, the placement uh, related studies and the coursework uh, is quite different. So, yeah. The so the hype that you get among friends, okay, aaj ye karna hai, aaj wo karna hai. so that's really uh, enjoyable kind of thing also. Okay, so very healthy competition amongst everybody to get placed and you know to get a good salary, to get a good package. And you are saying that, yeah. So you are saying that even though it's a bunch, it's a large size, but if somebody is preparing well and they're working hard, then chances are that they are getting decent placements. And uh, is is there any like I mean, you did mention that agri business did manage to bag the highest package. But in general, like, you know, as a median salary, all of them, you, you think all the courses are getting, uh, you know, the same kind of packages, uh, whether it is uh, finance or agribusiness or population studies, because population studies is also one very different course when you see, hear the name, you know, it's health and population studies. But is that, you know, a course like that also able to get kind of an, a median uh, sort of a um, package? 
yes ma'am absolutely uh, in fact uh, before coming here my first question to seniors was what is the highest package that an agri business student would get or the median package mm-hmm. an agri business student would get but nobody was able to answer that because nobody knows exactly ki uh, how much an agri business is getting or how much population study is getting because there is no differentiation companies come in and then all the students would sit for placements we have agri business students applying for the same role as finance students would apply, apply for and sometimes we would see that uh, agri business students are getting the jobs which finance students can't even if it's a, it is a finance role so it's just that how much you prepared for the placement and how much uh, equipped with the software skills you are so so you're saying that it's more of an equal opportunity that yes. you you are in gip so now you have an opportunity and it's now up to you to convert it yes absolutely okay all right so that's kind of, that kind of sounds fair it you know uh, people who do get an opportunity opportunity to join gip then they can then if they push it hard they can get a good enough uh, job from wherever background they are from all right yes the professors are really great i think they are really helpful and then we also have research centers so if you are very interested in research then you can go to some professor of your favorite you know of your choice and you can ask him he has any uh, research undergoing research projects and you can be a part of it i think we also have on campus internships uh, like there are research centers which offer internships you can also be a part of that what about the campus life how the campus life at uh, at gip so the campus is really beautiful and i stay in hostel which is around 7 to 800 meters uh, away from the campus and uh, the uh, the highlight of the campus life is all the festivals which are celebrated with so much of zeal uh, and enthusiasm so then there's there's a uh, ganesh chaturthi there saraswati puja everything is celebrated at a you know really great level so we enjoy a lot yeah other than that we have lots of uh, societies like we have manan which is the uh, academic society then then we have cultural society uh, we have a sports committee so yeah a lot of time to spend with all your people right so uh, with, with this or uh, do all the students get uh, hostel accommodation whoever desires it do they have such a big hostel or is it some of them get hostel and some of them have to stay off campus um uh, no not everyone gets the hostel i think it's uh, it is dependent on two factors firstly uh, the rank that you get i guess or the the kind of specialization you get or, like if you get through in the first list you have chances of getting the hostel secondly uh, second is uh, how uh, well, like if you if you fill the uh, hostel application quite early you can get these like on first come first basis So we, I have friends who are living in Pune, staying in the hostel, and I have friends who come from outside and they have to stay outside in PGs or different hostels. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, so I've seen the campus myself of GIP. I had gone to give their entrance, so I do remember that it was uh, quite peaceful, green. Yes, it's uh, very, very peaceful. Yeah. Right. All right, so uh, so everything is uh, sounds good. I mean, it's good to hear about the placements of GIP. It is it's good to hear that the course structure is kind of general with a few extra papers on your particular specialization. But everybody gets an opportunity to learn the basic subjects that we all need to kind of get good jobs after our masters, and that's what concerns most students. That uh, yes. what is it? What is the what are what are going to be the job prospects after such a course? and uh, along with that if you get a good campus and get a good campus life then it's it's a good package uh, overall to have so uh, good to hear jyoti all in all the life in pune is very peaceful as compared to delhi i i, I personally love free so the hostel campus is surrounded by lots of trees so i'm loving my time here <laughs> All right. Very nice to hear you. And thanks again for your time. Thanks, thanks again for doing this and sharing your yeah, experience yeah, yeah. at GIP. I remember GIP was always good. My own college professor had once recommended that you know you should you, he had recommended a batch actually that you know after BSCC that you know you go to GIP. It's a good place. So all of us, the entire batch went to go clear Pune to give the entrance <laughs> exam. So that's what I remember of the place. Yeah.
All right, Driti, thank you so much and uh, have a good time. Hope uh, you know you get uh, your, the placement of your choice and you do very well in your life. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was a pleasure to see thank you me. again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, same here. I remember you from the um, this also that I'd done. So, and yeah. uh, you had participated in that, right? Yeah. So I remember yes, you yes, from yes. there also besides yes. the classes. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.